Hello, Happy New Year and welcome to Mr. Barton's Web Wiz video number 15, where once again I take you on a very quick tour through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now, those of you who've been following these videos will know that I'm slightly obsessed with statistics and finding good and interesting sources of data. And in the past, um, we've looked at Gapminder World, which is probably still the best website around. Um, and also we've looked at the Guardian Data Blog, which is fantastic for finding current um, topical statistics that you can use straight in your classroom. Well, here's another website that uh, Douglas Butler, the creator of Autograph, has kindly forwarded on to me, and I think it's absolutely fantastic, and it probably completes the holy triangle of amazing statistical websites, and you won't need anything else once you've used this. And the website in question is called Nation Master, and it's a brand new one to me, this. Um, I believe, according to Douglas anyway, that it originates from Sydney, and it's an absolute fantastic, absolutely fantastic website for comparing two countries so let's just have a look there's the home page and it's such a nice simple setup so you pick a country here that you want so let's go let's be boring and go for the United Kingdom let's pick another country now as I chatted about during my series of Gapminder world videos if ever you want an interesting country to use for statistics always go for China because it's always kicking off there and choose what you want to compare them on uh, once again I'm going to be boring as you see there, there's a massive drop down menu of loads of stuff you can go for I'm just going to go for education and click go now what happens here is um, the machine of uh, nation master starts churning things over and it gets out all its statistics that it's got for China and Britain and it presents them all in a lovely table like this so as you scroll down there you can see a few good ones and um, that's quite good average oh sorry average years of schooling for adults 6.4 in China compared to 9.4 in Britain and so on um, and as you scroll down there as I say presented in very nice table form it gives you the rankings of each country and if you hover over any one of them it gives you the definition of it and also also very important for us statisticians it gives you the source of the data so let's dive into one of these and see what happens so let's have a look at this average years of schooling of adults so if you just click on that what it's going to do now is it's going to show you all the data it's got for all countries for this so and it presents it in a lovely little bar chart so you can see number one is the United States with an average of 12 and it goes right down all the way down towards the bottom and we get some of the African countries there with under one year. Now we also get a weighted average of 6.2. Now as I said it's very uh, stringent on, on its data sources so you get here where the data's from UNESCO and you get a link to the data if you want it as well and a comprehensive definition so there's no doubting its authenticity. But here's what I really really like about this as well. If you click on map and it takes a bit of a while sometimes to load up this, so just bear, bear with me, but there it is. You get the world map and all the countries it's got data for, it's presented in a lovely colorful fashion there with the darker countries being the ones where uh, uh, people have uh, are in education for longer and the greener ones where they're in for less. And if you click on any region, you can zoom right in and get individual um, looks at each of the countries, which is very, very good. But then it gets even better than this because this final tab here is called, you can't see it there, but it's correlation. Now this is the one that takes the longest to load up. Oh, that's not too bad, there it is. And what it does here is it takes all the data um, all this are the data sets and compares them with at this average years of schooling of adults and looks for the correlation so we can see and it ranks them all in terms of strength with the highest at the top so we can see here that gender development has got an 83 percent correlation with average years of schooling but also it picks out some that have got inverse relationships so they you can see there um intestinal disease death rate is inversely correlated and pretty strong at 74 percent with average years of schooling and from here you can click on those and get all the information you could want on those particular data sets which i just think is absolutely fantastic if you're teaching scatter diagrams or real world real life correlations or all that kind of stuff um also it's absolutely fantastic at digging out related start so I always have one eye on the left hand side of this screen um, and it or someone will always catch my eye and take me down a new a new avenue and I just think this is an absolutely fantastic website for digging out some rock solid data interesting data sets and facts about countries for comparison and as I say if you compare if you combine this with Gapminder World which is amazing for visually presenting statistics and the Guardian data blog which is absolutely unbelievable for topical contemporary statistics then what more could you possibly want and finally stats seems to be coming to life and that's why this is my uh, favorite kind of website of the week hope you found that useful and I'll be back with a fresh one next week and once again happy new year bye for now